Now over live to the countdown clock as we are moments away. Howdy, everybody. Welcome to the Brother Sister Show, a family owned and operated podcast where two siblings keep in touch by talking about movies. This week, we're talking about kick ass. But before we get to that, how was your weekend? It was fun. Uh, Fourth of July. Uh, my roommate made brisket. That was very good. Mm. Shout out to Chris. Amazing. How do you cook it? I smoked it. So. Nice. Hard to go wrong. Like, yeah. Very good. Um, but July 3rd, Saturday. Oh, this is this is weird because this is like a long time ago because we're pre-recording just to get ahead. Oh, yeah. July 4th is so long ago. Oh, <laughs> well, I guess spoiler alert. We are trying to get ahead because we're busy people. Yeah, it's OK. But I mean, this isn't like a time think we i just spent the weekend watching movies pretty much oh that's good um not not a whole lot of movies but a new one called the ice road (laughs) oh with liam Liam neeson Neeson. weirdly enough i had friends over and this movie came up (laughs) really yeah i it's not too bad is laura dern in it i don't think so okay what is that Uh, no i don't think so but I like Liam Neeson's character. I mean, he still plays kind of a similar character, <laughs> like yeah. a Liam Neeson type. No, she, no, she's not in it. Uh, Lawrence Fishburne is in it. He's good in it. Keep talking. I'm going to turn off my fan because it's loud. You're all good. Um, but that, that movie was really good. Uh, I highly recommend it. It made me really appreciate truck drivers. Like truck drivers are the OG Sorry. No, I was just saying it made me appreciate truck drivers. Cause Okay. I don't know. It was like intense. They're very um I don't know, they were like smart, all the truck drivers. <laughs> okay. Like with their stuff with their stuff that they like the, the challenges that they faced, like the the solutions that they came up with were really interesting. Uh so I watched that. And then we watched a movie called The Med- Meddler. Okay. With, do you know this movie? Oh, I. the only thing, weirdly, the only thing I know about it is who directed it. Lorene Scafaria, who is yeah. Bo Burnham's girlfriend. No way. Yeah. I don't know how I know that, but I do. She also Weird. directed Hustlers. Oh, really? Yeah. That movie's That's good. interesting because this movie is like nothing like that, but it's good. Yeah, that's Brandon. good too. Yeah, I liked it. Um, it's it felt long. It's only an hour hour forty three, but I feel like halfway through, I still didn't know what was happening. I didn't know where it could have gone. Uh, but so much happened during the movie. But I really like Susan Sarandon in it. She's good. Oh yeah, I love her. Ooh, you know what you would like her in? Hmm. Or if you like that movie, maybe from what the vibe is. Um, you should see the stepmom, stepmother, stepmom. It's with her. Um, Julie Roberts is in it too. Where oh, she stepmom. she's the stepmom of like her husband is Ed. I think it's Ed Burns. I think his name. And they were married, and then obviously they got divorced, and then Julie Roberts is like entering their lives. Oh, it's really good. It's it's sad. It, you might if you are an emotional in an emotional state, you might cry, but it's it's pretty good. Fair enough. Well, this is this is a good one. I really like it. It's uh, good. I feel like you never get to watch stuff. Yeah, I know. It was it was a good, uh, good time. And I, I, Michael McKean's in it. So we when we were doing Spinal Tap, this is Spinal Tap. Could I definitely oh. use this movie? This would have been a good movie because it has mm. J.K. Simmons, Rose, Rose Byrne, Rose Byrne, Cicely Strong. Jason Ritter, so many, so many people mm. could have really used this. This is the movie. Is he the dad or something? Michael McKean? No, he's. Oh, I think he's a dad of someone. Oh, okay. 
He's in a lot, I think. Yeah. I think he's I, the one of, out of all of them that's been in the most. Maybe right. not. Most definitely, but it was good. I enjoyed it. See, this is how you get good at this game, Anthony. It's a secret. Yeah, you just gotta watch. You just I watch so much shit and just know yeah. everybody's name for like no reason. Right, I'm getting there. Slowly building that that Rolodex of actors' names. But uh, that, and then I don't know if you want to talk about uh, what's <laughs> I forgot what it's called. I kept on messing it up. Uh, something and. The, the movie I had to watch for this episode. Oh, in and of itself? In and of itself. Okay. You want to talk about that? Mm, yeah. Or do you want to do that and then do the family tree game? Yeah, we'll do that. Okay. So what's up with you? What's new? Um, good weekend. I mostly cleaned, which is weird. Mm-hmm. Like I cleaned because we had people over. Um, but it's weird because we're moving. I guess it's good to clean now, but it just feels strange to like get a place ready. And then I'm like, okay, I'm taking it all down. Right. Um, but that was nice. It was the first time. I mean, I've hung out with my friends since being vaccinated, but this is the first time that they've been to my apartment. I, I kept saying the first and last time <laughs> they'd be at this apartment cause we're moving. Um, but yeah, it was fun. We Sebastian made street tacos and then I like, we all brought food um and everything was really good i was able to fit like a little table i should have taken a picture of my little setup but it was so cute like i had a table so we could all sit down um because you've been here but there's i don't have like a dining room it's just the island or the kitchen is big and then there's an island um but we had uh a table like we took sebastian's parents table and had a little setup and it was really nice um but i made something that i've never made before and it's so simple. I can't believe I've never done it before. But it's called queso fundido. fundido. fundido? I think that's how I call it. It's basically like, I think it's supposed to sound like fondue, but it's because ba- it's just melted cheese. Mm. And <laughs> I I was kind of telling you before, but I was like, wait, I need to say this on the pod. But <laughs> I have a habit of when I get, I'm sure everybody does this too, where you, I get recipes where I'm like, oh, that looks amazing. And all I do is look at the ingredients. Because if it has too many or something, I know it's going to be hard to find. I just won't do it. But this one was like just two different kinds of cheeses, chorizo, onions, like it w- garlic. Like it was like so simple. So I was like, oh, I could do that. Right. Um, and then I w- <laughs> before I was like, well, let me see what I need to do. Because sometimes it'll give you the prep time. But I'm like, it. I know how long it takes me to prep stuff. So like <laughs> I'm not going to pay attention to that. So I looked at it, and at the end of the recipe, it was basically like saute this, saute that, put the cheese, melt it. But the end of it was like, you need to, okay, so now that you've like put everything together, um, fill a pan with water, put that in the oven, submerge the skillet in the, and I was like, what the fuck? Like, why can't I bake it? I was so confused. That's so So I just like, I looked at some TikToks and some other people that have made it, and it just felt like... Like this girl made made it with soy soy rizzo, which is just this, like not uh, like Jody so without meat. Right. So I don't know, it was just like <laughs> I was so confused. And so I basically winged it, but it ended up really, really good where I just sauteed the chorizo. But the one that I got was really oily. So mm. I had to like s- strain it. <laughs> where I had to yeah, to get all the oils, but it, it worked out because I didn't want it because cheese also has a ton of oil, obviously. And so it would have been just been like a soup if I didn't do that. Um so I did that and then I put onions, jalapenos, um, garlic, I forgot what else. I think that was basically it, and then some salt. Um put the chorizo back in. Oh, and that's another thing that the recipe was like, I, I strained it, which makes sense to me, but the recipe said to put the chorizo on um, paper towels. And I was like, I feel like what? it would just mix with it. Like it would get soggy and just like stick to it. Right. So yeah. I was like, that's, I'm not gonna do that. And then I should call out whoever made that recipe. Cause what the fuck? But <laughs> maybe, it, maybe it with certain kinds, but not the one I used. Um, and then just put cheese on it, set the oven. I think I put it to like 325 and then put it, in and then took it out in like five minutes and it was so good and i felt like so chaotic that day because we we were like making food 
And people were cut, like my friends came like all, almost all at the same time or like five minutes of, so, like apart from each other. Uh-huh. And we were still cooking. And I was like, oh my, <laughs> I kept apologizing. And Sebastian's like, this is how I like when my fam, when my parents make like meat and stuff, when they, whenever they have their friends over, they're like, that's what we do. And that's what you do at barbecues. You just like cook while people are there. And I was like, yeah, okay, I guess so. I don't know why I like, I just had this expectation and maybe because I haven't <laughs> had people over in a, literally a year where I just thought I needed to have everything ready. Right. And what are, and they're my friends. What are they going to do? Like get mad at me? <laughs> <laughs> I demand yeah. food at this moment. It's not ready. We have to go. <laughs> Let's go, gang. <laughs> go to hit, hit another joint. But yeah, but that it came out really well. Everybody had a good time. Sounds fun. Sounds good. Yeah. Did you save any? Great. Um, the guess so there wasn't really any left. Um, mm. we had, we made a lot of meat so that we still have some of that. And so we're eating that. That's good for like every meal, but it's really good. Shout yeah. out. Had a great time. That's mostly what I did. Oh, I also went to the movies, but I saw a movie that we're going to do on a future episode. So I'll save my thoughts. Good for that. But now I, yes, I want to hear what you thought about in and of itself. Oh, I had no expectations whatsoever. I knew nothing. And I I did. I I like how at the beginning it said, you know, put your phone away. <laughs> it's funny because like I was watching it on my phone. So if I mm-hmm. like really listened, I'd be like, okay. And then just turned it <laughs> off and not li- like watched it. Just uh, but, I, there. but I really enjoyed it. Um, Shout out it, to you, boy. At the end. Shout out to your boy, David Blaine. <laughs> no. I was, I was like... <laughs> oh, I was talking about Bill Gates. For sure. Oh, Bill Gates too? <laughs> but yeah. They were all there. I, yeah, the, the leader. And then he's just like... He's like, damn straight. <laughs> damn straight, yeah. I'm a leader. I, yeah. So there is... I, I had no idea there was going to be magic in it. So when he put the... Yeah, the guy's a magician. I didn't know that either. Yeah. Uh, when you put the the ship in the bottle, I was like, okay, this this whole show is taking a turn. <laughs> this bit. There's so many good like bits, and I feel like we could have done a whole episode on it. But uh, I mean, I guess we could, but I don't know what. But that's the point of the. But, but to me, so I thought about that. Mm-hmm. But to me, the point of the special is to not dissect it. Is to like, or at least to do it within yourself. And so it felt weird for us to like. Right. Because it's all about know. identity. And yeah. Who you are. Um, Which is very interesting. Uh, and each bit was like better than the last, mm-hmm. you know, like the. I will the say I did not. I did cool. not care for how many times and how he said realitista. I really hate that word, but <laughs> it's okay. I never heard that word before. <laughs> Me neither. And now I hate it. <laughs> Like the pinnacle of the moment, the climax is when he like says that he's the realist and he's crying. You're like, shut the fuck up. You're just like, kind whatever, of. get over it. But every time I watch it, I've seen it twice and every time I cry like really hard. Really? <laughs> Why? Yeah, especially towards the end. And I, you know what got me the second time is I think is when he went to David Blaine and David Blaine started crying and I'm like, fucking God damn it. And I was so mad. Because he was like, brother, come here, brother. Yeah, that was nice. Yeah, or that, uh, or... Tim Gunn. Oh yeah, that there was just was like so sad. many people in it. Yeah, it, it was very. <laughs> I don't know. I've said this before, but all shows like like that you create, like you're putting yourself th- out there, mm-hmm. and he just he just did that perfectly. Where he just he he gave it his all, and it was it was really really interesting. Do you think it like? changed something in your mind do you think or do you think you learned something from it maybe but i i like just finished watching it i I think you should watch it watch it again i probably will in a not on my phone probably i would watch it again so i watched it the first time by myself and then i kind of made sebastian watch it um so i'd watch it with somebody else because it's nice to see somebody else's like reaction to it yeah, definitely, and I think, like the when he like kicks, like the, uh, everything about the show is so unique, you know, where this show starts with the wall, mm-hmm. and then you just think, oh, this is cool, you know, it's like a, 
It's like those walls. I mean, there's like all kinds of walls where you put your like your lock on that one in like Europe mm-hmm. or something. But like to make it into a show and to like wrap it all together. Very interesting. So good. Uh, yeah, but yeah, like the so with a wall and he like kicks someone out and they create another mm-hmm. ending. All, all this stuff is just I'd never even. Oh, the letters. The letters. Yeah, I don't know how the hell. Just like logistically. How do you do that? Yeah. How, how do you do that? Because uh, there was he, there was multiple ones, you know, with like different. Mm-hmm. Father, actually, son. I lied. I think that's the part where I cried the most. Oh, I could see that. Mm-mm. Especially where he says, you know, like they're gonna see something, and then we're gonna see something completely different. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I definitely need to give this one another watch because <laughs> there, there's a lot the, of good stuff. Especially the, I think the thing I got the second time the most, uh, the elephant story. I was like, what is going on? But I understood that most the second time, and also the 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 part where he's like talking about how he's a wolf or something, or that the wolf part. Yeah, that one too. Yeah, I think that that he like. I think those seeds are planted in my brain. I just need to like, think them, think about it. But the yeah. the fact that he was able to create something so succinct and that gave a lot of people the same reaction or the reaction that he wanted or the thought he like he led us through his his thought process perfectly i don't know how he did the ending either there's just so much like the brick like how the hell do you do yeah. that how do you go through the entire audience the very end <laughs> and just say what their card was wild i don't oh. know how or like, I guess I don't want to give too much away. I want to sound vague on purpose, but like the oh, wall I'm, part. I'm just, sorry, I just said it. It's okay. I mean, I think if people don't want to, they know that we're going to talk about it. But like, um, I think we're we've been vague enough to where they would understand. They we either would forget what we said, or they'll like right. be interested. But like the part, okay. So the part at the, I think it's the very end that made me gasp is what he did with the wall. <laughs> like, what? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That so was good. one of the few ones that I could that I kind of understood how we might have done that. Well, I, I like, kind of understand how we did the brick thing too. Oh, not me. Oh, okay. It happened her- early enough in the show that somebody could have like like an assistant or something. Does that make sense? Oh, uh, maybe. But it's magic. I think that's what we're saying is that that's how you do it is with magic. Oh, like getting it there for sure. He could, yeah, I, I see it getting to the place, but like it leaving the table. I don't know about that. Oh, yeah. I have no fucking clue. No. Most of the stuff, I'm like, yeah. I, I, and if I tried to think about it, I think my head would hurt because I'm not that. Yeah. Smart. Right. I was trying to think of it. I was like, maybe he just has bricks everywhere. Maybe it's just like. And every street corner of every. <laughs> I mean, that's, I, that's a, such a good it, right? ending, though. I really like that ending and the song. Like, it just worked really well together. Yeah. I was thinking about that. We'll talk about it more when we talk about um, the movie I saw. But I just song choice uh, when it's when it's really good. It's really, really good. It it completely enhances the experience. Yeah. As a direct if I was a director, man, that would be like my biggest thing. I don't know if directors can choose that, though. I've always wondered that. Like, who chooses that? I'm, I'm assuming there's a coordinator for it. Probably, but I, I I assume it starts with the director. At least if I wrote a screenplay, I think I would include what song. I'm like, okay, so this is the vibe I need <laughs> for this part. Right, like half of the budget would just be buying the rights to use these songs. <laughs> I need... Um, yeah, I can't think of a song right now. <laughs> you can't think of any song. No. I need the Star Spangled Banner. <laughs> Give it to me. I need, I need photograph by Nickelback. <laughs> Please. Or whatever the one uh hero. The yes. one for Spider Man. That does the entire budget actually. It's just that <laughs> just that song. That's the ultimate get too, if you can just like hire like it's just somebody to, you know, red hot chili peppers. You're like, I just need a song for yeah, the scene. Just, give me just a song, make one. Please. Fire. 
that was gross. I don't know why they came out of my mouth. Like I would ever hire them to make a song for me. Have, have you ever heard that TikTok audio of them? Of- oh. <laughs> That's hard to unhear, man. That's how their mu- all of their music sounds to me. And I get it. I do. All Fair right, enough. on that note, are you ready for... Yeah, let's do some Family Tree. All right. Who'd you pick? I have uh, J.K. Simmons. <laughs> okay. We've done that before, haven't we? Have we? I mean, it's okay. But because I have Dwayne The Rock Johnson. <laughs> Dwayne The Rock Johnson. <coughs> okay. Let's get some time on the clock. Five minutes. <coughs> let's do it. All right. I'll go first. <clears throat> Since I, I, I don't know if I cheated because I picked J.K. Simmons again. I don't remember doing him. Like Maybe we did it. Maybe he was like just in the. Uh, I don't know. So J.K. Simmons, um, is I kept on seeing this movie on my 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 Twitter feed, is in the Tomorrow War. Oh, okay. With Chris Pratt, the one that just came out. Chris Pratt is in Avengers Endgame. With. Samuel L. Jackson. Okay. Oh, yeah. Of course. With The Rock. Okay, we didn't do the same three. Bushes. <laughs> we didn't do the same three. We have one similar, but you are gonna have to help me, or you might know if I did this right, right or wrong. All right, The Rock is in The Other Guys with Michael Keaton. Michael. He's in it, right? He's the chief. <laughs> Uh, well you did yours is in three? Oh, he is he is yeah okay michael keaton is in spider-man homecoming with tom holland that's true tom holland is in spider-man far from home with jk simmons wasn't he in it yeah he was in it boom wait wait, in, wait in which one far from home okay yeah you got those right Homecoming and then Far From Home. Mm-hmm. Yeah? Okay. So now, tiebreaker. We'll go to um, Discord. So tell them how to join the Discord if they're not in while I ask. Oh, I don't know. Um, oh, <laughs> um, I think you just go to our Instagram. Or just our website, right? Yeah, just go to the website, brothersistershow.com. You can also go to Instagram at Brother Sister Show. Follow us, but then go to the link in our bio. Same at Twitter, but Twitter is at Bro Sis Show. Nice. Um, oh, Parent Bot is down. Why is Parent Bot down? That's sad. Oh, uh, I guess we'll wait for. Oh, Emily, our sister is typing. Adrian Brody. Ooh. Fantastic one. All right. Oh, God. Okay. How old is Adrian Brody? <sighs> no. I follow him on Instagram. He's wild on Instagram. Really? Yeah. How so? He just put, po- I don't know, he just like has the weirdest posts. Just like go to his Instagram. Okay. All right. I went with my heart. Okay. <sighs> I'm going to be wrong and I'm going to look stupid. How right. old is Adrian Brody? I oh, Do I go first? Yeah, go for it. I said 52. Oh, interesting. You went with 52. I wrote down 42. Oh. I'm even messing around. It's pretty bright, so I can't really show. But it's There's no way he's that young. Is he? He's the youngest actor to win. I know this was like... A yeah, but that was time. like in the 90s. <laughs> Adrian Brody. Are we doing like Price is Right rules? I don't think. Well, I don't know. I think we've said just who's closest. Okay. He is 48. <laughs> do we want to do Price is Right rules? I don't know. We can't. Have we done that? I don't think so. We can. No, I don't think we've done Price is Right rules. We can start. No, no, no. It's fine. You win. It's cool. It's whatever. Because you were two years closer than I was. Even on a technicality, you fucking lose. <laughs> Man, All right. I was so excited to get you to watch. What are you going to get me to watch? Well, I won't tell you because I'll save it. Okay. 
Huh. Let's see. I don't even pick anything. Shut up. <laughs> One day. Hmm. One day it'll happen. Sure. All right. So let me see. You know, it'd be funny if I made you watch something I've never even seen before. <laughs> you said this so many times. Just do it, bro. Um, I don't know what to pick, though. Maybe I should make you watch a bad movie that I know is bad, but I've just never seen it. Or you know what? I'm going to make you watch. Oh, wait. Um, yeah, okay. You're going to watch on Netflix. <laughs> um, I'm going to make you watch Step Up 4. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Have you even picked one for me? You know, like, <laughs> I feel it's like so it's long, been so Step Up for on Netflix. Okay. Have you seen any of the Step Up movies? Maybe. I doubt that. All right, number four is the I think the perfect one to start with. I think I think so. Yeah. That's what they say. You know when they you know people are like, this is the order. This is the chronological order you should go in for Star Wars, or for all of the MCU. Right. <laughs> Step Up. Yep. All right. Well, I'll we'll do that. Well, let's get to the break. <laughs> okay. Dave Lazuski is an unnoticed high school student and comic book fan who one day decides to become a superhero, even though he has no powers, training, or meaningful reason to do so in Kick Ass. Directed by Matthew Vaughn, written by Jane Goldman, Matthew Vaughn, and Mark Miller, starring Aaron Taylor Johnson, Nicolas Cage, and Chloe Grace Moretz. Critics gave it a 7.6 out of 10 on IMDb, a 76% on Rotten Tomatoes, and a 66 on Metacritic. Weirdly low. Yeah. Um, so I felt like it was a good, um, last week we talked about, Video game adaptations, mm -hmm. you know, I think comic book adaptations or comic book inspired movies is a good point, is, is a good, like, uh, I don't know, logical path that we... Sure, and we've never done one of these. <laughs> never before. But, like, we're doing it back to back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good point. All right, how do you want to start? Um... Well, you have all the points, so you I have two. <laughs> I have, I, I, well, for one, I mean, I like the synopsis. I think you put it because I forgot, but uh, the synopsis is kind of true about like he wants to become a superhero, but even though he has no like actual powers, no training or no like reason, um, he just decides to do it. And I feel like I don't know if this movie or if the comic book has anything like if it has any sort of um. I don't know. This movie, it feels like very sincere, but to me, how it, how I watched it now was kind of like a satire. Like, of course, if anybody was going to become, want to become a, a superhero, it would just be like a white teenager that thinks he could do it just because he can. Yeah. And, and he's surprised and when he like gets mugged or when he, when people beat him up or people are pissed, you know? Yeah. One of the lines he says is like, why has no one become a superhero? Like, <laughs> like he's in the cafe with, his friends he's like why is no one doing this like we read about it all the time in comics why is no one doing it and they're like well because it's stupid our, yeah yeah <laughs> like i mean i mean people have thought about it but no one's like dumb enough to actually think they can become a superhero and it is a very dumb thing to do that personally and he tried to become a superhero there you go and then he got his ass beat of course he would. Like, what is he, what exactly does he think is going to happen? I mean, the fact that he didn't fucking die was oh, yeah. a miracle. The Tims, I completely forgot he had boots on. Oh, him. yeah. The Tims. <laughs> I mean, yeah, of course you're going to wear it. If you're a superhero, that's exactly what you should be wearing. Batman's stunting yeah. in some Tims. Black Can you imagine <laughs> some all black Tims? It would look great. Robert Downey Jr. better be doing that in, in the new Batman. In the new what? In the new Batman. Robert Downey Jr.? Did I say Robert Downey Jr.? Yeah, you sure did. Did you mean Robert, Robert Pattinson? Pattinson? I, I did. That was I scary. Did. <laughs> wow. 
I, I, I thought I was going insane. I was like, wait, is he Batman? <laughs> that would be that would be awesome, actually. No, I don't think he'd... Well, maybe. No, I don't think he'd be a good Batman. Probably not. I mm, just... Let him rest in peace. <laughs> <Let him rest>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It just like... <laughs> it, I, I thought I liked this movie more than I did. I didn't really like it that much. Really? To be honest. I mean, I think it's an okay movie. I think... So it, this movie came out like 2010, right? Or something like that. Am I making that up? Uh, maybe 2011. But I don't know. Just some storylines. I was like, how did... How is this okay? Like the whole like... The, the girl that he liked. The fact that he pretended he was gay. And then she... And then when he told her that he wasn't and then that he was actually also kick ass that she was just like yeah okay spend the night like what that that would never happen yeah and i just uh, that felt yeah. really weird to me i didn't like that at all she was very accepting it came yeah. out in 10, by the way oh, okay uh, yeah I, I don't know that just felt oh god that was 11 years ago gross yeah. But yeah, this movie didn't really age that well. But that's what I mean. Maybe if it was supposed to be a satire, but it, it felt like it was taking itself very seriously. Yeah, well, I, I enjoyed this movie. Yeah, it was a fine. Kid who probably wanted to be a superhero. I mean, all kids do. It was cool to... This is like the blueprint for the, all the shows that uh, like have a similar concept. You know, like The Boys... Yeah. That's what, that's the name of the show, right? It did feel... Yeah. I think so. Boys, I don't know, every time I say that show name, I'm like, is that real or am I making that up? <laughs> yeah. The boys. But yeah, I mean, I don't know. It felt... It did feel very... <laughs> like that, that concept that we talk about all the time where it felt like... It felt very um, derivative, but it's... Everything else is deriving from it. So that's why it feels like yeah. so... I don't know. Basic. So I see how it, it's it's cool how like what came from it, but like I don't know. I was also more interested in, um, which maybe this is by design, but I was way more interested in the like Nicolas Cage and his daughter, like them, yeah. their storyline. For sure, because yeah, the way you get introduced to their those characters are really funny. Like, yeah, just, like getting shot by her dad. Yeah, but very funny. Training. Yeah, a lot of concepts that I think were definitely new at the time. Like I, when I watched it, probably mm-hmm. too young. <laughs> oh yeah, to back. but it, it's it's a lot of cool stuff. I mean, you don't expect. Um, I don't remember her name in the in the actual movie, but like, Mindy. She, yeah, when she like starts killing people. Mm-hmm. So yeah, because then after that point, I don't think any like at least Kickass didn't kill anybody. He just like beat somebody up and was like, right, leave him alone. Um. But yeah, that was like, I think that was just like a, a very big switch. Kind of like, I guess, not spoiler alert. Well, yeah, kind of. Kind of like Invincible. Kind of remind me of that. Yeah. Not as like jarring, but it's definitely similar. Like new to you and you weren't expecting it. Yeah. Because it, well, I mean, he did, the guy did shoot his daughter. I mean, like she had a vest on, but like still, I don't know where I thought it would have gone from there. Of course, they're going to try to kill people. <laughs> yeah. I guess just seeing a, child do that was weird yeah and so brutal mm-hmm. very brutal. Very. i think she like cut off one of the guy's legs right yeah but yeah uh, I, I don't know those are my two notes though just like uh, why did he think he could do this but i guess that's the whole point of the comic and then just like how cringy the storyline was with like just how they other than the the small child how they treat like just the two other women in this movie or three, like even his teacher. Oh yeah, that, was that cool. like that was kind of I didn't really like that, but I don't know. Yeah, I don't think parts of it age well. The the parts I do really like is when uh, they're looking at the 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 teddy bear cam footage. Yeah, and and like that transition's really cool where you're watching it. Yeah, and then you're you're seeing it happen. I did like that too. Time. That's I forgot a, that's, about that. I don't think I've seen. I mean, I've I've definitely seen that before, but that was like probably the first time I had seen that as a kid. Mm-hmm. And just like, what the hell? How did like, they do like, that? Yeah, how did they do that? But like, also, you can do that. Mm-hmm. That's wild. Exactly. Um, 
and probably the saddest death in all of in all of history mm-hmm. is when Nicolas Cage's character dies. I thought I remembered it differently. That death, I I thought he would like actually burn. Like I thought he somebody blew him up or something. But I think I was thinking of the the death of like the villain. I thought that happened oh. to him somehow. I don't oh know. no! This I remember watching Kick Ass for the first time and just like feeling like su- too sad that, mm. that he had died. Especially like he was like yelling instructions to her. Yeah, that, that was, was kind of like, that was a cool scene. Yeah. The way that did they did that. Also, how they did the live stream. I was like, they're really gonna just like show that on TV, yeah, and then they cool. stopped. But I was like, yeah, but y'all like y'all went pretty far with it. <laughs> yeah, kind of weird. It, yeah, I don't know. They did they did it very well. I really liked it. I can't imagine too like being in that universe and seeing. Like, can you imagine right now if you were watching TV? Well, first of all, people don't watch TV anymore. But if you did, and you saw. Somebody, it looks like somebody was about to get, like, murdered. Like, people would watch that? Probably. I I mean, people watch the news, and the news always talks about it. They don't, I know, but they don't have a live, they don't live stream an execution. Yeah, that's true. Well, they didn't know it was, they they didn't know it was going to be an execution. I just can't imagine why you would ever live stream something like that. I don't know. Like a face reveal? That's, That's what they thought it was. Oh, I, oh yeah, bad. that's true, I guess. It's, it's, but as yeah, soon as you deal. see that they're, like, them... I, I How I think it would happen if it was, like, actually happening is they would stream it, but as soon as you see that they're tied up, cut it. They let it yeah. go on pretty far, is what I'm saying. For the movie's sake, but... I guess, but that just bothered me. That was, like, pretty glaring to me, is what I mean. Yeah. Also, that comic, like, I don't know, just who hangs out, even at in 2010, who just hangs out at a comic book store? Right. That's that a coffee like shop. Nine of the time. It's just chilling. Yeah. Who does that? I don't know. That was weird. Also, it seemed like he was in school for like two minutes. Like, was he a high school student? Was it during summer? Like, what? And also, of course, his girlfriend fucking volunteers. Oh, yeah. I don't know if you think about this movie. Now I'm like starting to get annoyed by it, honestly. I was I was confused at why she was um like involved with that other guy. The one he oh was yeah. Playing. That wasn't super clear to me. Yeah, because then she was like, he comes by and like he goes by your work. Like what? Like uh, uh, that did, she also didn't really divulge a lot of information. Yeah. That the, I remember when I watched it this time around the, the most recent like what's the connection there that, like it's, why why is why do they how do their paths cross yeah it's also like really funny how useless like kick ass is i don't know when you were a kid if you remember like if you were like yeah he's really cool he's like my favorite and now you watch and you're like he literally just stands there like he doesn't do anything well in the second one he does a lot more does he that's the thing i was thinking about was it kind of made me want to watch the second one because the only scene I remember is when the there's girls bullying Mindy and then she like makes her like shit herself. That's oh, all I yeah. remember. But that no. movie, I don't know that it is it good because it makes it because of that scene. I'm like it, it feels like a like you know the scary movies like or disaster movie. Like it feels like one of those. Is it really? Is it like that? There's more superheroes though, isn't there? Yeah, that's the whole thing. Is like he inspired people. That's the one with Jim Carrey. <laughs> Oh, is it? I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Oh, I need like, to watch it. I wonder, is it on anything? Um, I, I don't know. I'll look right now. No. But yeah, I don't know. You like, can rent it. Oh, meh. Not yeah. Not that Yeah, yeah. Jim Carrey's in it. This this is another good one. Is it better? I don't know if it's better. I, I might like this one, the first one, just because it's, you know, like, just the first one. I don't know, though. It, like, I, I think I... I was, it's one of those movies where I was like, I wonder why I haven't seen it in a while. And then I watched it and I was like, oh, okay, that's why. It's not, I don't know, to me it's not that good. Like if if you take out the nostalgia, do you think it's actually a good movie? Still? Maybe. It might be hard for it's me to decent. see it without, the the, without that but... lens. But, I always but... wonder that. I'm like, are these movies just like familiar to me or are they good? You yeah, know? it is interesting. I, I definitely think the third act is good. Mm-hmm. As far as action 
sequence, like when Mindy goes in and yeah, and then that like reveal of the jetpack. Yeah, thing. I liked like, that because I also didn't remember what it was. I was like, "What is that?" They're teasing it. I don't know. The only time uh, kick ass is actually useful, <laughs> right? No, I, but I think the first two I could probably see it being like, eh. like yeah, not enough, not enough to build up to this to the third. I think I would have just rather them take out the like the story with him and his girlfriend. Just take that out. There was no point in that. It really didn't serve any purpose. Like other than even if you take into account like, oh, well, he wanted to protect her. So that's why he went to that guy's. And then but you could have done that in a different way. I feel like. Yeah, it could have been one of his friends, maybe. Yeah, it could have like been somebody he stumbled him. upon. Maybe. Uh, maybe like the girl and her dad, maybe they somehow brought him into that so that he could see like what actually it's like for them to do stuff. I also don't like their name hit girl. And then what was it? Big daddy or something? No, change the name. Of course. Like what? <laughs> what a stupid in, name in dodgeball. Big daddy. Remember when they, they switch the, Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the only time you can use that. He's like, I think, I think you're big daddy. Right? Oh yeah. Yeah. But that, that is funny. <laughs> this one. I'm like, no, I don't, I don't like that. I also I'm surprised to see Nick Cage. I don't know. I, I didn't I knew he was in it, but I couldn't remember what he was like in this character. And he was pretty funny, even though he played it like really straight, like he didn't he wasn't goofy or anything. Like it did it still felt very funny. Yeah. <laughs> like the way he did it, I feel like he still had some sort of like weird sense of humor behind it all. Also, I saw a trailer when I went to the, I went to the movies last night and I saw a trailer with him in it. And I can't remember the last time I'd seen him in a movie. Like in a, a new movie. I know he's been in some stuff. Oh, that Five, Five Night at Freddy's ripoff, Wally's right? Wonderland or something. But what? it's uh, the movie looks good. It's called what? Pig. <laughs> oh, this is the John Wick type. Yeah. Uh, that I pig is so that. goddamn cute. I haven't seen the trailer, but I've heard about it. It looks actually good, like really good. The people next to me, it looked. I think they were making fun of it, but I told Sebastian, like, I want to see that really badly. Because <laughs> honestly, if I had a pig and somebody took it from me, yeah, I'd murder a couple of people. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. You'd yeah, become, overall. Hmm? You'd become a uh, big daddy. Like. Yes. Just like, exactly. Nick Cage. Make, I would somehow be able to like illustrate and write a comic book right and it would be good how do you that's a, such a weird skill to have just off the bat like just to randomly just know drawing how to know how to make a comic book oh uh, i guess that's how he got the well i guess that makes sense because that's probably how he got the idea to be a superhero yeah so i guess it is not out of the blue but it's just so funny that like that's it is kind of smart how they did that where the, his like partner came by and that's how we know what happened i do like that like i like that they did it in a creative way but it just felt so funny to me like why would you make a comic book out of yourself <laughs> that's lame bro yeah maybe he knew he was gonna die sometime and he just wanted his daughter to like I, have that story definitely, definitely. but i don't know very weird oh, i had yeah, another point that i forgot oh what do we think about the like villain i don't know if i well first of all what was his because people he wanted to find out why people were stealing his stuff but like what did he do did he just like make cocaine yeah just dealt drugs i think okay drug lord mm -hmm. uh i don't know i like that uh, actor but like i don't know mark strong yeah good actor uh not that scary of a villain though yeah, not that scary, because he didn't do a lot of the, like, villain stuff. Like, a lot of his henchmen did it for him. And then when he did kill somebody, he killed just, like, a random passerby, and then somebody that wasn't even kick-ass, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I wish, I, I feel like I would have cast that differently. Even if, you know what? I would even put, like, maybe, maybe, like, a J.K. Simmons. Like, I don't know what it is about this guy, but, like, I don't know. Yeah, he he would be a perfect Lex Luthor. He's my Mark Strong. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I see that. As a Lex Luthor, I but, I can see that. 
but this character isn't like the Lex Luthor type. And I, th- I feel like if we had J.K. Simmons or like a like a better, maybe not actor, but just overall villain, just a bigger presence. Like he that just felt death, very forgettable. Yeah, that death would have been more momentous. That's mm-hmm. probably why you like merged it with Nicolas Cage's character. Yeah, that exactly. Just, I don't know. Yeah, and I think he the the guy. I don't even remember his name. The, the bad guy but like i don't know he just felt very forgettable i feel bad because i really like i said i really like that actor and i feel like he still could have i don't i don't even think it's like a recasting that needs to be done but just some sort of like like i don't know like even just wearing a different color suit like he I felt like he just like you said he just like felt like he blended in with his like henchmen there, yeah. there feels like there needs to be something that's different about him other than his annoying ass son From that costume Nico. Oh, Red Mist? Oh, my God. So bad. That's a Halloween costume for me, probably. For sure. But the hair, the wig? Oh, my God, that wig. So bad. What would your... Also, Red Mist. I mean, Red Mist is fine, I guess, as a name. What would your name be? Ass Kicker. Evan Peters' okay. character. I don't know. Also, why did Nicolas Cage's character... He had, like, a weird cadence. Did you, Did you like, notice that? He's a like, little bit. we're here, ass kick. Like he just did it. He kept talking like that. Oh, I didn't understand. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I'm wondering if it was just like a character choice. If he did that because he didn't want it, he didn't want his voice to be recognizable, even in the way he speaks. Does that make sense? Oh, like if, like right now, I, I have a very distinct voice to me, but I also have a distinct cadence in that I like talk really fast. So would I like slow it down if I don't want people to recognize who I am? Pro yeah, I could I could see uh him thinking that. His character thinking like I need to cuz he's very like precise, well trained. Mhm. That is interesting. He did have like kind of a like what I I'm thinking of when he tells him he's like we'll find you. Just put on your website you're on vacation. Yeah. Like yeah. I it's know weird, weird. But. Hmm. But I yeah, like sorry, what would be your name? I don't know what my name would be. Brother. Hmm. Just brother. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what mine would be either. Definitely, I would have to incorporate some sort of Tim's. <laughs> Into the outfit. Yeah, I have my entire outfit picked out. Name? I don't know, but that's not important not important that just like come like you can't choose your name people have to give it you know didn't he choose kick ass i know but it wasn't from him like i don't know one of his friends said kick ass or something he's like that'd be kick ass mm. i don't know i'm not smart enough to come up with a cool name Do you oh have a cool name like hit girl <laughs> Do I don't know because it depends on the. I guess it depends on your powers too. Like, what was exactly Red Mist's power? Or like, well, I guess no, none of them had powers. powers. But what? I, like, what was his shtick? Like, well, what did he? Because he had money and that car. I guess so. And he made websites red. That was a little oh. weird thing. I I feel bad, but I don't like that actor. <laughs> he really yeah. annoyed me. But if he's supposed to be a villain, then I think that that worked. But yeah. yeah. He's very the way annoying. I saw it, he's like. It was know. fun. the The casting choice of him being like the, the, boss's son that that was pretty good. I think he's, that was really he's funny. Like, uh, Harry Osborn to me, like I see. Oh, like, okay. You know, Spider Man. You know, oh, Willem Dafoe. Movie. Willem Dafoe would be probably the perfect villain for this. Yeah, story. but then that's just Spider Man. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> that is hard to like cast. Also, I can't. That should be one of our, instead of Family Tree Game, we should try to pick an actor that's never been in any sort of superhero movie because I feel like that's hard to do. There, Adrian There's so Brody. many. Adrian Brody? Ooh. Yeah. Okay, I'll maybe. I'll look it up right now, but... That is a good one because everyone's in everything, especially yeah. with every, like, phase four or whatever and... Or like, yeah, because we were watching, especially trying to get caught up on Loki. 
And I was like, there's so many people in this movie or show. Yeah, there's there's quite a bit. Oh, I need to catch up even more. We only watched like one and a half episodes. Yeah, Adrian Brody. Nothing? That's surprising to me. He's in King Kong. Oh, that, I would say that counts. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh, I thought you were being serious. Maybe. I mean, like, let's say, okay, let's say that hasn't been in a franchise. Like, superheroes, like, that's, that would be hard. That would be kind of hard. They'd have to be, like, not well known. Interesting. There you go. Yeah, that's kick ass for you. And it kicks ass. Okay, movie, but I feel like you could skip it if you're not interested in. Yeah. At least skip through the parts of his girlfriend. It adds nothing. It truly adds nothing to the movie. Yeah. Well, uh, that's all I got. Sam? We'll see you guys next time. Thanks for listening. Bye. Uh, Tell a friend. Oh. Don't say bye. Tell a friend. (laughs) Tell a friend about us. And you'll get a $5 coupon, I think. To that bookstore, that that comic book store in the movie. Watch, it's actually real. (laughs) All right, bye.